G'day you good motherfuckers, the Butts Barney. I hope you're doing not bad, I'm not bad, thanks for asking. In this video, we look at a lady that thinks she's a bloody wolf. Because of course we do. I've spent a lot of time on this channel talking about decisions that people make about their gender and all that type of business. And basically, what I want to get out there to the people, to the world, is me just saying, listen, if you're all having a good time, if you're enjoying yourself and you're not hurting anybody else, you be you, baby. You do you, sister, brother, gender neutral, whatever. Who gives a shit? If you identify as something else that is not the sort of norm, then that's fine. Even this Dutch man, who's biologically 69 years old but identifies as a 20 year old, if that's what you want to do, then all the power to you. Even people who are transracial, who were born white, now they think they're black, or they were born white, now they think they're an Asian woman. Your gender is not determined by your chromosomes. Race is a social construct, not a matter of genetics. Jadu is simply taking that wisdom to its logical conclusion. Born a white male named Adam Wheeler, Jadu now identifies as a Filipina woman and joins us tonight. Jadu, thanks for coming on. Okay, maybe that's a little bit borderline, all right? But, but still, whatever. It doesn't really hurt anyone, does it? But if you're going to do something as ridiculous as be a white man who identifies as an Asian woman, or in the case of this video, believe you are an animal, you should be able to do it, no doubt, but you need to be open to criticism. You need to know that people are going to laugh at you. You can't do something as outrageous as that and then expect everyone to go, yeah, cool, no worries, fucking yeah, woo! Particularly if it's something as fucking crazy as trans-speciesism. People who believe that they are animals. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the modern world. North Korea, Kim Jong Sun, Wong, whatever your fucking name is these days. Nuke me now, I've seen enough. <laughs> Could you imagine just walking past that in the woods with your kids? You'd have to cover their eyes. It looks like they're shooting porn out there. Or at the very least, it looks like they're taking some special needs adult out for some time in the woods. But no, it's none of those. I give you, ladies and gentlemen... My name is Naya Shiro Okami, and on all levels except physical, I am a wolf. Naya was one of the original memes. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. Her face, her lifestyle, what she believed went viral over a decade ago and people just basically sat back and thought, what the fuck is wrong with the internet? But to her credit, until this day, she still identifies as a wolf. She lives that lifestyle and good fucking on her, I reckon. And believe it or not, she is not alone. These people exist everywhere. And you may not see them because they hang out in a place where you should never venture. With Vine disappearing a few years ago, and then Tumblr going down the tubes, all of these trans species, and oh, there's all these other words that sort of describes them, but people who believe they're animals, they all hang out on the one place, and that is TikTok. Okay, maybe that's a bad example because we can all relate to doing something as normal as that. Run. Fuck me dead. <laughs> and for non self pronouns, if the person used bunny, such as me, instead of saying, I hope he takes care of himself, you'd say, I hope Bun takes care of Bunny self. Yep, bunny self. Fucking bunny self. And if you think that is ridiculous to call someone bunny self, you would be pretty average, right? But if you tell everyone that they can choose their own gender pronouns and different pronouns and pronouns for this and AM, PM pronouns and all that shit, then you have to call them bunny self. Otherwise, you're a complete and utter hypocrite. It's like when Sam Neill in Jurassic Park sees the Brachiosaurus for the first time, except it's not a dinosaur, it's a child who thinks they're a fucking bunny and he just gouges his eyes out and thinks, fuck me dead, I hate the world. Anyway, back to our wolf mate. I am a British Columbia wolf therian. 
I am a fox therian, and I am hellhound kin. Okay, so not, sorry, I, I apologize. Not just a wolf, a British Columbian wolf, and a fox, and a hellhound. I think this is the only gender preference where people can look at them and go, Haha, okay champ, whatever you reckon. When I first like realized that I was other kin in theory and I joined a website for it called Wearlist. I wasn't exactly welcomed. I was actually bullied. I was 12 years old. I didn't really understand how to put my feelings into words and, and people didn't take me seriously. Okay, that is horrible that you were bullied, but also you pretend to be a wolf. What did you expect to happen? People get bullied for the smallest, most minute things of all time. If you walk around howling all day and playing in the woods, what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? So back in 2011, I founded Community. K-I-N-M-U-N-I-T-Y dot com. It's, it's a clever pun of other kin and community. Um, it lets you put your zip code on a map so people can find other kin nearby them. Ah, so this is a sexual thing. Like, Tinder for wolves. Timber. Well, yeah, like that's a type of wolf, a timber wolf, right? It's a type of wolf. Timber. Yeah, that is right. Great pun, Isaac. Well done. And just to show what a great pun that is, hey, editor, put a fucking logo for Tinder, but not for Tinder, for timber for wolves. Make it right there. How good is that? Yeah, fucking oath. That's a good fucking logo. How about you fuck off? I present to you what you would see on TV. It was made as a joke to be to simulate what was on TV, and then movie like production companies started using it. Okay, for the past minute of this video, Naya has been talking about how much she loves computer programming, and that's just completely normal and just wonderful and well done. That's a great hobby to have. And then this. <laughs> So physically, um, I am a British Columbia wolf, um, black fur, amber eyes, and the reason I know this is when I dream, a lot of times I am in my wolf form. Jesus, I mean, what do you even say here? Off the bat, I'm gonna say, you're not a wolf, champion. There you go, you've been debunked. Signed, sealed, and delivered, not a wolf. But if I must go on, you're not a wolf just because you had a dream about being a wolf. I've had weird dreams, and I don't think to myself, wow, I am this super sexual god because in my dream I had sex with like 400 people. I've had dreams where I can fly and other people can fly. In the real world I haven't seen anyone fly except for maybe 9-11. My thought process I think is, is wolf-like. What does that mean? You sleep? Kill things and then sleep again? Um, obviously I don't have a machine that can read the mind of a wolf, but based on observed behaviors of a wolf and their response to stimuli, etc., I feel like it very much... No, 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 no. Do not go around using scientific words now trying to confuse people, alright? You can't just run around being a wolf and then throw in that type of shit. Oh, I've seen a wolf scratch its balls and I've scratched my balls, so now I'm a wolf. No one wants to be a wolf when it's time to do wolf shit, right? No one wants to think of a wolf like tearing apart a helpless, weak, maimed uh, elk that is the runt of the bunch, right? But wolves do that too. Does that mean that you're implying that you do that as well? Are you killing animals and eating them in the woods? Is that what you're implying here? Or do you do other wolf-related shit, like shit in the woods, piss in the woods, and haunt Liam Neeson's dreams. I want to know what the limit is. You can't have this idealistic, wonderful view of something that isn't in line with reality and identify as that. When I identify as a wolf, I am a wolf. This is a load of barnacles. Please do not give us a lesson on reality and then tell me you're a fucking wolf. That is some bullshit. Wolf. I'm not saying I'm sadistic and want to tear small animals apart. I'm just saying I identify with wolves because I'm a wolf. What does that mean? Does that mean you're eating small animals in the woods or jumping into people's backyards and fucking up their dogs? What does that mean, Naya? So when I'm out in the woods, I am like completely free. Like I can run, I can howl, I can bark, I can growl. I could literally do every little wolf expression. There's no one here to really judge me. There's just other animals who would react to me the same way they'd react to another animal. Okay, let's, uh, let's put that to the test. We actually have an otter from the same area that this uh, this beautiful video was filmed in. 
Uh, Gregory, are you there? Gregory, come in. We have an otter on the line. Uh, yes, uh, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Gregory, what are your thoughts on the wolf lady? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna have to go out on a limb and say, uh, uh, cat's fact. Fair enough, Gregory. Thanks for your time. I feel bad to say this. I was really ashamed when I first started having feelings that I was trans. I was proud to be a wolf. I didn't see anything negative about that, but because of society's huge negativity against transgender people, it, it really scared me. What? Ow. I don't know anyone in my life right now that would look at a trans person and say anything other than good on you, all right? But obviously you weren't copying that. You weren't getting a positive reactions from people. But how do you not get positive reactions from people about you being trans and yet get positive reactions from people about you being a wolf? I wonder this, if you are a part of the trans community and you're watching this, these people identify as animals, does that take away from the fight that you have trying to normalize um, being trans? I wonder if that is true. Because this is really popular right now. There was even a lady who was a part of the Twitch Safety Council who was a deer last year. So does this make trans people less likely to be treated normally in a reasonable amount of time? Does this push them back? Does, does it not even affect them? That's my question, I guess. And also, here's my question to everybody else in the comments section. Let me know in the best answer. Will win a merch pack? Let me know. Uh, screenshot your fucking uh, comment and send it to me at the Buttsman on Instagram and I'll send you a merch pack if it's bloody good. What type of animal would you be? Or what type of animal do you identify as? I identify as a turtle because I've got a hard exterior and my head looks like a big old cock. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you send through to my Instagram at the Buttsman and you can win an amazing merch pack. Holy shit. Anyway, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Be dick stinks. Keep it moist. Uh, what's the other things I say? Who gives a shit? Toodle love, bye bye.